We wanted to name the restaurant Metal Ark, the Nebraska State Bird. Unfortunately, the Secretary of State said good luck to Matt Mosier because there were so many businesses with that name. So we had to go back to the drawing board and the scientific species of the Western Metal Ark is the Sternella neglecta, which is where the name comes from. We took the U and made it an I, like stir the pot, stir the drink, and so on. Matt wanted to pay heritage back to Nebraska by providing food that showcases proteins, produce, and whatever else you can find here locally in the Midwest. And we've stuck to that since we opened. Matt, of course, working on the menus and always finding new farmers that are willing to help us out from people like Kevin who, you know, grow mushrooms custom just for us. Chef Matt Mosier prepared them in such a special way up at Sternella. Just absolutely fantastic with the way that guy can make sauces, different types of preparations that I've never seen done with, with mushrooms. The thing is, is that a lot of people are actually scared to eat mushrooms. It's a texture thing. Well, I'll tell you what, you go to Sternella and you try any of the mushrooms that a properly trained chef can put on there for you, it'll be a whole different story. think a lot of people realize, but that's the focus of the restaurant is to showcase what the Midwest has and what can be done with products. The menu, of course, is all focused on, you know, local ingredients, and Matt Mosier sources everything he can and changes that menu with seasons. Fellas, how's it going? Good. Welcome to the Mushroom Farm. I'm so glad you guys can finally come over and check this place out. Thanks for having us. So why did you get into mushroom farming? You know, I went to horticulture school at Metro, studying plants and things like that. We literally did one class, one day on mushrooms. I got the books. I just, it just took on, boom, like that. Started studying it. Started researching lots of books I've been reading, lots of online forums, YouTube videos. Here we are. After, of course, doing some market research in the Omaha area, there's no mushroom growers. So here we have it, fellas. Nice little eight by 11 fruiting chamber. We have multiple types of mushroom products in here right now. So in here, obviously, the environment is very, very controlled. Humidity, CO2, temperature, and lighting are all a huge factor in mushroom cultivation. So out of this room, how many pounds are you producing a week? I average in between 90 to 105 a week right now in this room. So when you have your new operation at the farm, how much do you expect to harvest a week? Probably four to five hundred. We're looking at the future, boys. Welcome to Flavor Country Farms. My name is Kevin Novak. Here we are in Honey Creek, Iowa, right here nestled in the Lus Hills, where we will pr be procuring local produce with chefs in mind. Here currently we do microgreens, and for the most part, we're just cleaning up the farm to get it ready for what we want to do. We do think it's very important here at Flavor Country to bring the local aspect 
right into your big city. Therefore, there's not a big carbon footprint. It's gonna be all seasonal type vegetables and produce that are just gonna be grown basically right in your backyard. Another thing that we would like to get into here at Flavor Country Farms is bringing in educational aspects of all types of farming. We want to teach sustainability, organic practices. We would like to teach people how to grow mushrooms. We will also be having beehives, chickens, along with all sorts of different types of greenhouse crops as well as field crops in the future. The days are, I think, are limited to the big corporate restaurants that are bottom dollar feeders. I feel like these new types of clientele are really going out and spending the extra few dollars to have a locally prepared item. You know, the sky's the limit and we really want to push the boundaries to every option that we could go with how the sustainable approach can go. What we did was a capoletti pasta stuffed with mushroom duck cell and a house ricotta. And for the duck cells, I used all your oyster mushrooms you gave me, all three colors and varieties. Cooked those down in white wine and butter, chilled them, uh, mixed them with the house ricotta and made the farce and then stuffed the pasta. I then roasted the king trumpet mushrooms and we do a little hash on those to help the searing process absorb the brown butter and to cook them a little bit further because they are, as you know, meaty mushrooms. Then we took the chestnut mushrooms and made a mushroom conserva. It's basically a hot marinade of really good olive oil and really good sherry vinegar and just infuse that into it. And so those are somewhat par cooked and they'll add a little texture to the dish and brightness to the dish as it is a very rich dish. So to help cut a lot of the bold flavors took all the trim from the roasting of the mushrooms, the conserva of the mushrooms, and made a fortified uh, mushroom jus with the stems of veal jus and chicken stock, and that is the glaze on the pasta, and finished it with uh, some fresh pomegranate seeds. They're in season right now, and it adds good uh, contrast of texture, color, and brightness, and then finished it with some uh, fresh truffles and some of the uh, Kevin's soon-to-be-famous country blend uh, microgreens. Oh, I'll tell you what, man, you really killed it with those mushrooms nice. there. Um, the hash on that trumpet and the texture was just dynamite. As far as the ravioli goes, I mean, it was awesome. Packed with mushroom flavor. Um, I know that the pasta dough had the dehydrated mushroom yep. in it as well. I mean, really all-encompassing mushroom dish, you nailed it. That's and what then I was just, for. just to really put the icing on the cake, you shaved black truffle. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> fungi and all, you, you did great, Chef. Good. Very excited about uh, what you can do with just mushrooms alone, yet alone other products as we, you know, go down this path. Mm -hmm.